Round one begins with Martinez moving and Havlick looking for a chance. Looking at Kelly Pavlik, he does look like he's about a good 10 or 12 pounds uh, larger than Martinez to me. Two solid left hands by Martinez. Well coordinated. They meet, their heads almost come together. Leather on to Pavlik. There's another left hand by Martinez. Martinez is getting into his rhythm right now, and it seems like... Pavlik getting closer with the right hand, and his fans recognize it. Pavlik is very good at analyzing and breaking down an opponent's strengths and weaknesses. Starts hitting him more. No, Martinez is going to do this all night. It's not the Hopkins plan, although it bears some similar features. Bagging him with good shots. I thought Pavlik did better in the third round, but I didn't think he did enough to win a round. Three to nothing. Sergio. Solid right hand to the chest by Pavlik. And that may reflect that Jack Lope. Hard right hand by Pavlik. Martinez comes back and lands two rights in a row. That's one thing you see in Martinez. If you get in a shot against him, Kelly too to some degree. Kelly's doing a pretty decent job. Right? There's the best punch of the fight so far for Pavlik, and this time one of his rushes and get caught with a shot. I That's think, what happened. I think he was on his feet. I think Kelly was on his uh, Martinez's feet at the same time. But regardless, here you can see, as I said earlier, Kelly did land a good shot, but a lot of it was probably uh, been more, made it more effective with the fact that Martinez was off balance. And, and when you fight the style that Martinez fights. A lot of punches a lot, and he seemed to have gotten adjusted to Martinez's rhythm now. And uh, Martinez is having a problem of actually landing. He has a lot of nice movement. Solid drive straight through left hand. So even when he hits Kelly, it's more of a show type punch. Some punches, get off first. You know, laid that left jab, follow it with a straight right hand, and he was hurting Martinez. Sergio Martinez. Watch your feet, watch your feet. There's a good solid left jab by Kelly and then followed. Hard right hand by Pablo. Down goes Martinez. Solid shot. He saw the target. So now it's possible that Pablo. Here we see Kelly Pavli come in, landing the shot, but once again, the fact that Martinez is moving so fast that he's often all out of balance and position, and he's trying to regain his balance right there for the most part. It was an argument over a knockdown, legitimate or not, but right now you may see a lot more of that. And cross, and ultimately putting Martinez on his pants. So this is what Martinez will have to do, is fight more bravely and take more risks. There was a punch that reducing Martinez for a while to more and more awkward shots, less and less power, less and less effective. Nice. In this round, Martinez stepped up and fought more bravely, but he took punishment as the result. Last round to Pavlik, and now with the knockdown point in the preceding round, Pavlik leads on the scorecards, or at least on Letterman's scorecard. And if it keeps going like this in his coast, Kelly's probably going to win the fight because his punches are more effective. The preceding yeah. round. And, and Kelly has slowed down a lot. In his, in Pavlik is bothered by the cut. There's a lot of blood coming out of that right eye. All the way. He's turned and the fight back around, and he is bloodying Kelly yeah. Pavlik. He's totally shut Kelly out of the fight. This is impressive. This is a guy who was yeah. going south. Pavlik missed with the right hand. Now he lands one. Hard left hand by Martinez. Look at Kelly Pavlik's face. Look at that. He's all right. Here you see the left hand that landed right in the eye that caused the cut and the swelling on the right eye of Kelly. And seemingly this went downhill. Here you see later around another left hand that came straight through. Look at the blood fly. I really was a little disappointed the fact that the cut man didn't seemingly do hardly anything to the right eye. So in case like this, sometimes it's good for the trainer himself to have a good cut solution because this happens and maybe... Martinez may have blinded him in there. Hand by Pavlik. Came on in the middle rounds and looked like he was winning the fight. But Martinez, to his credit, stepped it up and 
is now seized control. Wipe its face down. I don't have enough of him. Give me a second. Give me a Claimed it a hard right hand. That was his best punch in two rounds. Well, usually in the close fights, going down the stretch, usually the fighter with the speed, usually always pulls those fights out. Usually the flashy fighters usually pull fights out in the end, which means that it would favor Martinez going down the stretch. He landed a solid right hand shot, and now the blood begins to flow on Pavlik's right eye again. <laughs> two more solid left hand lands for Martinez, and another combination. Pavlik can't see the punches coming. decision that Martinez did not get the, the fair result according to many observers so well, he's certainly not against Cintron and he didn't get the benefit of the doubt against Williams Larry right I would say you need to win this round just like you did the last two well he stepped in there I'm not sure there's anybody out there it's a thin division the only way he could have dodged that would be have been to make a fight with Paul Williams no aggressive as well Martinez almost went down unbalanced again. Argentine fighter is doing what he wants to do. Sergio Martinez is going to celebrate right now. He believes he has lifted the middleweight championship from Kelly Pavlik. And new middleweight champion of the world, Sergio. Mm -hmm.